Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, a Handful of Daisies DIY. If you're new here, I'm Elaine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today we're back in the workshop. Um, I've cleaned it up a little bit, so I'm able to actually work in here again. But as you can see behind me, I still have a ton of furniture to work on. So we're going to get started on this piece today. And then all the rest will be coming in an upcoming video. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on those videos. So if you're ready, let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do is get all of the knobs and the hinges taken off because this door is a little sideways, you can see, so I need to, to get that straightened out. Um, so that's just going to be realigning the hinges a little bit. And then we'll give it a good clean. put all this hardware to the side and then we'll give it a good clean once I get this piece painted. I'm going to go ahead and get, you can see all the old contact paper on the inside. I'm going to try to get all that out. It does have a nail sticking through there I need to get out as well. It's pretty dirty down in there. It's so old, this paper is pretty hard to get out. in after the fact someone had repaired this before which is good they're in there really tight glued in uh, so I'm not going to have to do anything to that and it looks like the back has been replaced as well so that's good we're not going to replace that now the top of this is metal so I'm going to end up um, painting the top back white and keeping the black around the edges as it originally was. Off is attached in order to take 
take that off. So I'll have to just be careful as I'm painting that. So let's get everything cleaned up and then I'll give it a good sand. And I'm just using a multi-surface cleaner um, to clean it up. some Loctite wood glue to glue this floor piece down. Let that dry and then I'll sand the drawers last. I'm going to just let that dry and then we'll come back and start painting. So while the glue is drying on um, this piece and on the drawer, I'm going to go ahead and paint the shelf on the inside and the door. So the shelf I'm going to be painting in um, Dixie Bell's Midnight Sky. It is um, black, so it'll match the rim around the top. So I do have it setting up on two boards so I can get around the edges as well. is really thick so I think I'm going to get my mister bottle and use that to smooth out my paint a little bit. This is an old piece, so there are going to be some imperfections when I sanded it. I didn't sand out all the imperfections because they're just too deep. And I didn't want to take it away from the character of the piece either, so I didn't fill them in. I'm going to set that to the side to dry, and then we'll come back and do the bottom of that as well. Alright, so I'm going to be using um, Dixie Bell and um, Fluff 
to paint the door and the outside of this. Um, and the inside. Like I said, I didn't sand this all the way down, so it does have a lot of imperfections, but I think leaving those just gives it more character. Um, it is an old piece, so old pieces are not going to be completely perfect. And this is going to take two coats. Dixie Bell paint is pretty thick, but anytime you're painting um, in a light color, especially white, it's um, normally going to take two coats at least. Maybe three. Alright, so I'll let that dry. And then we'll do the back side of that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get started on... Um, this piece while it's turned on its side um, and that glue is drying. I'm not worried about getting the white paint on this black. We are going to come back and paint that again, but the white will just give it a base coat. By the time that's dry, the glue will be dry and I can stand it up and finish painting the other side and then it will take a second coat um, to get all of that done. Um, and then I'll also finish up on the drawer once the glue dries on the drawer as well. Alright, so I did go ahead and get the drawer painted. Unfortunately, my camera wasn't rolling when I did that, um, but I got, did get the first coat on the top of that. And I was able to turn the cabinet back right side up, so we're going to go ahead and get the other side done there. draws we'll get that second coat on and then put a top coat on um, and get everything finished up now that that's all dry I'm going to use some plastic and uh, painters tape and tape around the bottom because I'm going to spray paint the top 
Um, and I don't want to get any of the overspray on the bottom. Also, I'm going to tape off the top because I'm going to spray the black first and then I'll come back and spray the top white. I'm going to take my little knife here and trim these edges. I'm going to be using this um, Rust-Oleum um, enamel paint in black to um, go around the edges because I want it to have that enamel look. Alright, I'm going to let that dry and then we'll take the tape off and then I'll spray paint the top as well. All right, so that's all good and dry. I'll let it dry for a couple of hours. So I'm just going to take the tape off the top. All right. You have a nice crisp line there. I'm going to leave this on the bottom, and then I'm going to tape around the black and um, spray paint the top white. Make sure that your black is completely dry or the tape might pull off on some of that black. I'm just pressing down on the edges to make sure the tape is down really well. I don't have any of the enamel white, so I'm just going to be using this um, flat white uh, Rust-Oleum. And I'm going to start out with just a light coat, let that dry, and then I'll come back and put another coat. So once that dries, I'll go ahead and pull all the tape and the plastic off and put the hardware back on, the door back on, and then I'll show you the final reveal. All right, here's a look at how it turned out. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this project. Just to give you an update, this piece did sell on the first day I put it in my booth. Everybody loved it.
Thanks so much for watching. Make sure if you're not already subscribed, you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time for another DIY.